year two, Mrs Bird here with the last English lesson of the week. So what we are going to be doing is to use fronted adverbials and exclamation sentences in our postcard. So if you remember, we were talking about the features of a postcard and what we needed to include. Well, we're going to write our postcards today um, and we will hopefully include the fronted adverbials and exclamation sentences along with the other features of a postcard. So I'm just going to remind you about those now. Okay, so we looked at this on yesterday and we saw that a postcard has a space for an address. It has a space for a stamp. There is a greeting at the beginning. There is a main body of writing and there is a closing. Okay, so we said within our main body, we wanted to focus on, so we were looking at the ones, um, our waggle, and we were looking at fronted adverbials, exclamation sentences. It's in the past tense because it's all about what has already happened. And we are writing in the first person because it's what we have experienced. So it's what I have experienced. Okay, so I'm going to put these up here so that we can use these when it comes to our writing. Okay, I'm just going to swap that over. Okay. And then I'm going to pop this under here for our main body. So we know that we need to include an address, a greetings, our main body with all of those, and a closing. Okay, so I suggest that in your book you do it on a double page spread. So I mean by that two pages that are blank together. Okay, so if your last activity was on this side, you will need to turn over to get a clean page. Okay, so we are using a double page spread and that way we can have our writing, so our greeting, our main body and our closing on this side and then this side can be our dress. Okay, so it will look like a postcard. Fantastic. So when we did our, I think it was lesson on Tuesday, we had to look at questions and exclamation sentences. So we had to come up with a bank of questions that we could use, okay, so that we could answer them. So it's like when you go on holiday or when you've been out for a day, somebody asks you questions to find out more information. So we created a list of questions. I have got my questions here, okay? I'm not going to be able to answer all of them in my postcard, but I'm going to answer some. So I've gone through and I've highlighted the ones that I am going to answer in my postcard. So those are, what did you do? What did you see? When did you go? When did you do each activity? And how did you feel? Okay, so they're the ones I think I can answer in my postcard. So when I'm writing my postcard, they're the ones that I'm going to be thinking about. Okay, we also did exclamation sentences. So I have a bank of exclamation sentences that I can use when I'm writing because as I've put here, that's one of the features that we need to be including in our postcard. So exclamation sentences. So I've got a bank here that I can use or maybe tweak them slightly to change them slightly when I do my writing. Okay, so I'm going to model how it should be. I don't have big piece of paper, so I have had to stick some together to make it look like my double page spread. Okay, so I've got one side, which is where I will do my greetings, my main body of writing and my closing, and this side with the address. So I'm just going to turn it like this, okay, so that I can, and I might even move that up a little bit. Okay, so this side is my side with my address. So I'm going to start with the address. Okay, Mrs. Bird can't find her pen that she brought in to do it. So she's just going to have a look on the table. Just give me a minute. 
Nope, still don't know where my pen is. Oh, it's over here. Okay, fantastic. I found it. So, I'm going to send my postcard to Miss Ryan to tell her about everything that we've been doing this week. So, I need to start by writing the address of the place that it is going. So, it is going to... I'm going to have to lift it up a little. It is going to Miss... Ryan and that is at Wyndham Primary Academy and that is Alveston and that is Derby Okay, so now that I have the address of where it's going, I can then write the other side of my postcard. So I'm going to turn it round because it won't all fit on here. Okay, so here we said within that main body, we needed to include all of those. Okay, so I've done my address. It's now my greeting. So my greeting is going to be, dear... Miss Ryan and I'm making sure that because it is the start of my greeting it has a capital letter but because it is going to a, a person it is a name they also have a capital letter so dear Miss Ryan is my greeting so now I need to do my main body okay so I'm going to leave a line and I'm going to think about, so what have I done this week? Okay, so I've been learning about Africa. Okay, so I am going to say, um, I've, okay, so I've had a lovely time learning about Africa and taking part in lots of different Activities. Okay, and at the end of my sentence, I need a full stop. So I've had a lovely time learning about Africa and taking part of lots of different activities. So I've done it in my first person because I've said I. I think I'm going to add an exclamation sentence. So, okay, okay, what? A busy week I've had. Okay, so what a busy week I've had. I've remembered to add my exclamation mark. Okay, so I'm going to leave a line again and I'm going to say, so one of my questions was, so when did I do it? So when did I do it? So what? when did I do the activity? So I'm going to start back and I'm going to think about Monday. Okay. So my fronted adverbial here. So on Monday. And I know that after a fronted adverbial, I need a capital letter. I'm going to have to move this up a little bit. Okay. So, so on Monday, what did I do on Monday? Okay, so on Monday, I watched a video about Africa um, and saw 
lots of animals. Okay, full stop. So that's what I did on Monday. So then I'm going to move on to it. And I'm going to say what I did Tuesday. So I need to think back to what I did on Tuesday. Okay, my whale has fallen off. So let's add him back. Okay, so on Monday, I watched a video about Africa and saw lots of animals. Okay, so on Tuesday, so I'm going to leave a line again. Okay, what have I got there? On Tuesday, and I know I need my comma after an ad fronted adverbial. Okay, so on Tuesday, I, oh yes, on Tuesday, I created a bright, um, African basket. Um, by weaving paper. Okay, so I created a bright African basket by weaving paper. I could have added carefully in there. Okay. And I say it looked brilliant okay, when I'd fastened it. Okay, full stop. And of course, I've got my front adverbial, but I can't forget my exclamation sentence. So I'm going to write, um, have to lift it up a little bit. What a great weaver I am. Okay, and don't forget my exclamation mark. Okay, so I've looked at Monday, I've looked at Tuesday, I could then write about Wednesday, but I am running out of room on my page, um, but you will have lots of room in your book. So I'm going to go on to my closing, okay? So I'm just going to write here, okay, what a great week. I've had, okay, um, and then I'm going to leave a line, and then I'm going to write, see you soon, and then I'm going to write from, and it's from me, so I'm going to write, Rachel. okay, Mr. Whale has jumped off again. Okay, so this is just a brief one. I'm sure there is lots more that you can write about because I know that we were doing some super African dancing on Wednesday. So, so far we have, Dear Miss Ryan, I've had a lovely time learning about Africa and taking part in lots of different activities. What a busy week I've had. On Monday, I watched a video about Africa and saw lots of animals. On Tuesday, I created a bright African basket by weaving paper. It looked brilliant when I'd fastened it together. What a great weaver I am. What a great week I've had. See you soon from Rachel. So I have, let's look back to my list, in my main section, I have got my fronted adverbials and I've remembered my commas after. I have got my exclamation sentences. So the ones I've done, I've only got what, but there are ones that you could do with how as well. And they have an exclamation mark at the end and they include a verb. 
okay? I have done it in the past tense because it is all about what we have already done. And I have used the first person, so I've said I. I've said I've, okay? So, my task for you is to create a diary entry. It's not to create a diary entry. It's to create a postcard, okay? So my task for you is to create a postcard for somebody. It could be Miss Ryan, it could be your parents, it could be your brothers or sisters. And you are going to do it on a double page spread. Remember we said doing it over two pages so that you can write one side and you can put the address the other side. Okay, so I have used the features. I have got my address. I have got my greeting, so who it's to. I have got the main body, okay, with those main things that we were looking at. And I have got my closing. Okay, I look forward to seeing your postcards. Okay, I look forward to seeing how you've laid them out in your book. I will pop a template for a postcard onto Dojo so that if you would like to do it on there and you have a printer that you can print it out and you can write it on a template of a postcard instead of doing it on your book but it is entirely up to you it doesn't matter if you do it in your book it will work just as well okay so year two look forward to seeing your postcards and reading all about the fun week that you have had okay see you soon bye